this is Big Brother at Oh So Savvy Mom. Today we're going to be showing you how to make geodes. So I love geodes! So my mom came up with this awesome side project of a borax crystal and um, we're going to be showing you how to make them. Bye bye! So to make the geode you're going to need to start out with some pipe cleaner. Um, we're going to do a green geode this time so I have green pipe cleaner. If you have white pipe cleaner, that's probably the best, but we don't have any white pipe cleaner. So, we're just using the color of pipe cleaner that we want our geode to be. So, you're going to start out by making a circle. I These are actually three pipe cleaners that I have um, wound together. So, the pipe cleaners themselves aren't long enough. So, you're going to start out by making a circle. Okay? Kind of wrap the pipe cleaner around like that. Then, you're going to weave this in and out of the circle. So I've made a shell here that's going to be the geode. So it doesn't have to look pretty because it's all going to be covered up by crystals eventually. Um, but you don't want to have too much space in between. So let's make this geode. So I actually ended up microwaving it for about 10 minutes, um, but you'll just have to monitor yours and see if it's at a rolling boil and when it's at a rolling boil, just take it out because you don't want it to overflow. Uh, like I said, you can also do it on the stove top if that one's easier for you. So I just tied a string onto the end of this and I clipped off the excess. Um, if you don't clip off the excess, then it will um, crystallize. The end of the string will crystallize. And then you're going to want to tie it around a stick. I have a skewer that I cut in half. Okay. Alright, so I've got this all ready to go into the borax mixture. Alright, one thing I forgot to mention is that you're going to want to make sure that you um, your solution is not too full before you put the borax in because you're going to be putting in a lot of borax. So let's start pouring. Um, now I don't measure it because there's no point. I mean, you're going to use, you're probably going to use a different amount of liquid than I'm using. But what you do is you just pour it in, you stir it around, and you wait for it to dissolve which it will, unless I already have too much borax in and then it won't all dissolve. Um, what you want to do though is you want to keep putting borax in until your borax isn't dissolving anymore. And I think my borax is already probably pretty saturated because I had so much borax in it from the last crystals that I did. Um, so once your borax isn't dissolving anymore, then put just a little bit more in so that it's, so that it's cloudy and then put your crystal in. Or then put your, I mean, it's not a crystal yet. Okay, so then I'm gonna put this in. Oh no, I made my string too short. All right, let's hope that does not fall off. There we go. So you're gonna put your this in, and then you want to cover it. I'm just gonna use this to cover it, and then you are gonna let it set for six to eight hours. 
All right, so we let this sit overnight and I'm about to pull it out now. Whoa, check that out. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I think this one might be even better than our first. So let me see if I can get that up close for you. You'll need a paper towel. So you kind of got to let it drip off for a minute. Let's see. Might have to get that into better light in a minute and show you how that looks. So go ahead and let it drip off. We're going to do one more thing before we are all done with making our geode. All right, so the last step, and this one is totally optional, is to um, give it a top coat with some nail polish. So this is just Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. Um, so we're gonna just paint it very gently over the stones. Theoretically, this should also give it a little bit more shine as well. All right, so here is a look at our two finished geodes. Aren't they amazing? Here's the one that we just barely did the nail polish over. Sorry, we're starting to lose a little bit of our light, so but the image isn't quite as clear as it could be. And then here's the one that we didn't do the nail polish over. And I actually think I like this one a lot better, the one that we didn't do the nail polish over. You can see a lot more definition in the crystals. So I would recommend not doing the nail polish over it. So, I guess that's one reason why they call it an experiment. All right, so this is a great um, craft slash science experiment to do with your kids. You can talk about um, saturation, you can talk about um, the different elements and how they dissolve in different temperatures of water. So I hope you enjoyed this Borax Geode Crystal demonstration from Oh So Savvy Mom. You can check out more great stuff for kids and babies and families at OhSoSavvyMom.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.